coming to consider um, a production of Cavalleros de Cana and Pagliacci, um, studying the scores, listening to the operas, getting to know them better than I thought I did, I was struck by how different they are. And that led me to think um, how often they're treated in a very generic way, almost as though they're two pieces by the same composer. And actually, you're talking about two very different composers working in quite different styles. Mascagni's Cavalleria, to me, is um, a very backward-looking work, a very romantic work. It really looks back to almost middle period Verdi in its structure. I wanted to emphasize the formality of the storytelling. The music in each piece requires a different visual response from us. Cavalleria demands something very dark, very brooding, stylized, heavy heavy with religion, heavy with the attitudes of this enclosed society. Pagliacci is almost like a kind of soap opera. It's about drama and conversation, and it moves quickly. And it needs color, it needs vibrancy, it needs light, it needs movement. Because it's about actors, it's about clowns. They may be suffering, but they are presenting a show. The challenge for us was to um, find an, uh, a scenic envelope that could tell both stories, which is derived from details of real Sicilian villages. Cavalry we went for a 1900 setting, Pagliacci we're going for a post-war setting around about 1948. In the first opera, we see these walls absolutely as they would have been in 1900. And then we cross the interval, we go into the late 40s, and suddenly electricity has come to this town. Suddenly there's a gelateria in the corner, there's a bar opened up at the back. Suddenly there's electric light, there's telephone wires everywhere. I was struck in my research, thinking about the Pagliacci half, of this production, that the play the singers actually perform is never generally very funny. And one of the challenges I wanted to set myself, my designers, and my cast is I want that play to be funny. I want it to be real vaudeville. I want it to be slapstick. By making the performance of the comedy palpably funny and real and accomplished, you underline the agony that's raging beneath the surface. The raison d'etre of doing these pieces is we have a tenor who wants to do both roles in one evening, which is a mammoth, Herculean undertaking. We have Marcelo Alvarez, who I've worked with many times in the past. He's a wonderful singer. He's a very charming, very funny man, and a very fine actor, I have to say. I've always really enjoyed directing Marcelo. I can see many things in both the characters of Torido and Canio that he will bring to the stage.